we've all just had the loveliest lay in. Literally looks at the clock and it's like ten to eight. Like, whoa. Never happened. Miles did wake up in the night, but Graham resettled him, just kind of just laid him back down. It was like really quick. But um yeah. Oh dear. Graham's really banging around though, so I'm guessing he's like, come on, I need to get up. Get up. <laughs> so I better get up. But yeah, this is a lovely. So I've two back to back shifts um, Friday and Saturday. And I've just, oh my god, I felt absolutely knackered yesterday and last night. And then we had Chinese last night. And my stomach felt bloody awful last night. Oh my god before bed I just felt you know you just I don't know something hasn't agreed with me I don't know if it's because I just ate so much at once you know a bit greedy I was kind of enjoying it but like too quickly you know anyway I better get up make my coffee and let Graham let the farmer go down to, to work I suppose he's got a lot to do today he's um worming sheep today and that takes time, a lot of time. I've got so many sheep. So, and also, we've kind of got garden jobs that I've said, can we get these done today? So, yeah, I better relieve him from the baby. Going to the lounge, look at the clock. I think this clock's probably the same. The clock's went forward an hour, because my phone obviously automatically changes. That really confused me then. So yeah, we lost an hour. Really good, lovely. So basically, we have got up at seven. Yeah, well, I got excited then that I had an extra hour. We kind of did, but we kind of didn't. <laughs> I had to D lime scale my Nespresso again. I only literally did it like say six weeks ago, so that was a bit of annoying. I did that yesterday. God, are you joking me? That is the descaling sign. I've literally used one yesterday and it went green again. Are you kidding me? This is just frustrating. Absolute worst bit about living down south, I swear. The hardest water ever. You might have to just invest in like a water filter. Or Graham actually suggested getting a Brita filter and filtering my water before I put it in there. I think I might do that. I think that's probably a cheaper option. Because in other ways, we don't really suffer that much. The lime scale isn't crazy, like, as in, like, around the taps and stuff. It's purely just the kettles. Just the constant boiling, I suppose. I can't believe that. I'm so annoyed. I'm going to have to put another sachet in. They're not cheap either, typically. Anyway, one load of clothes in the dish dishwasher. <sighs> Thumb dry already and I've already got one load, load to fold. I need to catch up on washing. I don't know why, I've suddenly just, yeah, just got behind. And the kids are back to school tomorrow. Actually, it's, uh, they finish on Wednesday, I think. Violet definitely finishes on Wednesday. I think Alistair might finish on Thursday. But, um, yeah, Easter holidays is literally around the corner. It's crazy. It's come around so fast. I said to Graham, Oh, at least we can get the fence panels back in today. So obviously two blew out a couple of weeks ago, that crazy storm. He was like, you do realise it's going to be 50 mile hour winds today. I mean, what? Where the hell has that come from? I mean, it was a bit windy yesterday, but it does look really windy out there. But from the rest, like from tomorrow and the rest of the week, it's supposed to be really, really nice. Even looking at 18, 19 degrees on um, Tuesday, Wednesday. Hello, good morning. My little man. Big kid stayed at Nana's last night for a sleepover. Pulled out his little parking lot because, um, yeah, it's just trying to switch up things for him to play with, isn't it? He got this for Christmas, didn't you? Wee! But these are the little cars that go with it. Not the blue. And the red. And you want this blue one? You want all your cars? There you go. Oh, there. Oh, and this one, big one. Okay. 
Yeah, right, I've got a big pile that I need to fold, so I'm gonna do that. Right, I've just done Mal's some scrambled egg on toast, one of his favorites at the moment. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't think you should use that much, but just use your hands and your fork. I've been using the pasta grabber. Um, yeah, this is what we've been doing this week. We've been doing Easter crafts, as you can see. Um, Violet's been doing some as well. I've got to show you a gadget that I bought. All off Amazon. I've been kind of toying with one of these for ages and I didn't really want to pay out for one. And that sounds really cheap. But you know when you just, a gadget is a gadget and like air fryers and instant pots and stuff, they are so expensive. And if it's something you won't use or like you have goals to use, but is it really something that I'm gonna use enough? Um, so I found this. James Martin, I mean James Martin. I mean, who doesn't love a bit of James Martin? Um, anyway, yeah, this is basically an instant pot, but like a cheaper version. Had really good reviews. It's like 40 pounds on Amazon. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna trial it. It looks really good. I pulled it out of the box. I just need to use it. And I'm gonna use it today, actually. I've got a, um, I think I've got a rolled lamb shoulder, I think. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna give it a go, but you can like saute it first, so you can kind of just fry it off first like you would on a frying pan, and then leave it in there, put it on the kind of normal cooking stew setting or whatever, and cook it all in one pot. It's a four liter, so it's bigger than my slow cooker. I think my slow, to, uh, my slow cooker is like a two and a half liter. I feel like it's just not big enough for us anymore. Also, the pot itself is really, really ruined. Yeah, it comes with some really old school random recipes, but I've been looking on Pinterest and stuff, and I love the fact that you can do rice and cake. You can put a cake in there, um, and it shows you, it tells you how to do it. But um, yeah, so it's a multi-cooker, four liter family size, six function. It's got steam, so you can put some salmon in there and steam it. It has like a steaming little cup thing that you put in there. Um, dessert, steam, stew, saute, brown rice, white rice. I mean, what more could you want? So I'm gonna give it a go. I'll let you know if it's any good. Ooh. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Are you that tired? No, no, it's on the kitchen floor. So uncomfortable. Right, I'm in the gym. I'm gonna start this Sunday out right and get a workout in. Nothing too strenuous, because dumbbell full body, that's what I'm gonna do. I think it's like a 15, 20 minute one. It's not too heavy. I say that, it's not too heavy. It's probably gonna be. But yeah, I just wanna Get it done, out of the way. Graham's back for breakfast, so. Oh, he doesn't know how much he's gonna get done today because of the weather now. Another broken plate, another called off date. We never seem to get it right. That's it, I'm done. <laughs> Quick shower. Oh, <sighs> 25 past 10. Time's flying because we lost this hour. Right, workout done. Had a quick shower. I actually baked hands. It doesn't really look it. If you go a few vlogs back, it'll, I'll tell you what tanner I've got. Basically just show you what I use and what I do. But it's just the um, Saint Prey Tanning Classic Mousse. Anyway, um, I haven't even had breakfast yet. It's like 11 o'clock. I think it's because I had a bit of a bad tummy last night because of that Chinese. I've just been feeling really full. But um, yeah, decided on muesli. This is the nutty one from Aldi. I love it. Oh my God, it's just my favorite. It's got raisins, it's got like big Brazil nuts, cashews. Oh, it's just so good. So I'm gonna have that with some coconut milk, some blueberries, and then also I've got my PhD protein drink. And then I also got my, whatever it's called, pressure cooker thing out. This is the nutty muesli. So nice. Do you know what the added bonus is? Miles doesn't like it, which means I don't have to share. Right, I've got whites and lights to fold. Getting some 
you can see the school shirts in there i love these m and shirts if you haven't used them before i would highly recommend them obviously alice has to wear shirt and tie to school but look they come out of summer dryer and as long as you bring them straight out look at that not a single crease just really i'm gonna hang that up good to go and um i've said this before the two polos are amazing because the collars don't crease either um so yeah this is literally obviously just come out of time dry, but this is a pe one so i wouldn't bother unless the um unless the collar was really really bad but look at that pretty good miles is going crazy with these paints and these little easter bunnies <laughs> oh so messy is that fun and Viol violet has started as well they've got three each and then this one obviously comes with the tray can't trust miles with the tray there can we <gasps> no is that good that's it paint 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 oh yeah good job that's it never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations I'm gonna give this a whirl so I've just washed the pots I'm gonna add a little bit of oil rapeseed oil and then what you do is just let the pot warm up a bit pop it on saute and just let it warm up for like five minutes or something is that it? Do you like that other one? And then I'm going to stick the, we've got the rolled, um, just seasoned it as well. Okay, so saute down, I think. Pretty browned off nicely. And then I'm going to stick the lid on and then we're going to go stew. Hour 30. Give it a go. I have to check on it, obviously. Right, bit of a result. Baby is napping. He just suddenly just was having a meltdown, you know, and you just know. So, yeah, put him down for a nap, which is really good. He's been having, like, touch wood, he's been having regular naps recently. Last week was so good. Um, you know, if he gets an hour in, brilliant. The lamb's in. And, um, yeah. I don't know what to do. What should I do it myself? Um, I think Violet's gone out to play with Peter Rabbit. A few people have asked if we're going to get another rabbit and we're not going to get another rabbit. I don't know if I've said that already, but um, purely because Peter Rabbit is getting on. He's like, I think he's about four and a half now. Um, or at least four. Like he's, well, you know, I, th I think it would just be too stressful to add another rabbit in at his age so yeah we're not gonna get another rabbit I'll show you the floor that we chose for the bathroom this one it's like we're, this was recommended to us by for the people that kind of is doing the work um so it's basically a click vinyl flooring we um yeah this is basically free samples which is fab because it's just massive but um yes yeah, so we've gone for like this gray oak style it's got like the grainy brown in it which is perfect for what we want we want it to kind of feel a bit more natural and then obviously flow with the rest of the laminate so we chose that so very happy with that that was basically our three choices that was way too dark that um just it's just i don't know i just didn't like it as much i prefer the kind of contrast so yeah once that's done once that arrives and our bath we've chose a bath with a basically very similar to what we've got in the ensuite with the waterfall um shower uh kind of like an l-shaped bath still quite big because it fits the same length and everything because the one we've already got not as deep um and then like a glass panel so yeah exciting so once that's here that will be done okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do my spring summer switch over i know it seems quite keen considering the weather's looking a bit crap today, but the weather's supposed to be getting better and better. 
and obviously we are going into April and um, I'm just I'm ready for some like brighter colors and lighter clothes and anyway I feel like my wardrobe at the moment I have barely touched so I don't think I'm going to do a massive amount of purging and I, if you've watched I think I did an autumn winter spring autumn winter switch over last year and you would have seen that I purged a lot like a lot so I don't think I'll be getting rid of a ma massive amount just because I haven't really had a chance to even wear anything because we've been locked down forever. I'll show you what I do anyway. I just bring out my boxes. I've got two boxes of like spring summery clothes. I've got a little pile of stuff that I've bought already that need that needs hanging and putting in. And then I just go through the rails and see what I wanna keep. Do I wanna keep out for spring or summer? put away anything that I know I'm not going to wear. So first of all, I'm going to go through my wardrobe. There's obviously a few new pieces in here, which I've just added. Um, there are things I know that I definitely won't wear, like plaid shirts. I will be putting them away for autumn, winter. Um, darker colours, these are more autumnal kind of shirts. I know I've got some like different ones. Um, even this one, I'll probably put that away. Um, but I will keep some out obviously and then like stuff like this I'll put that away because I know I won't wear that I probably hmm, I don't know if I should put that away this jacket I do like that and it's still chilly so I might keep that out but yeah you get the idea there's things I will keep out and things that I put away um, I've actually already been through this drawer so I'm probably not even going to bother touching it because I've added a few new bits in just some like basics I can't wait to go to Primark because my whites are just like grey as you can see they're really horrible and then in here is my jeans and shorts I may go through them I may try on some which you know may may not fit whatever I have not been through my jeans in such a long time also like these lighter ones I just bring to the front because I start wearing the lighter jean I did get a couple of new pairs of shorts actually these are ASOS, I've got these ages ago, um, Vera Moda ASOS, but they're kind of like chino style, um, elasticated waist, the kind of paper bag style, but these were actually like ridiculously good value for my eight to ten pounds, honestly, really good value for money, and these ones as well, um, they are pull-in bear, size small, I love those, the they're like tie. These are my favourite mum jeans that I got last year. These are Pull and Bear. They've got them back out. I did actually link them on my Instagram, but I love the fact that they're they're quite a wide like you've got like a good wide thigh. They're really comfy because they don't hug them, and then you can roll it down and roll it up as well, depending on if you want a shorter short or not. Another broken plate. Another called off date, we never seem to get it right. Right, so there's a few bits I've pulled out. Funny enough, ages ago I ordered some of these trouser hangers and from Matalan. Oh my god, like ages ago in January time. And for some reason, like I paid for just one set because they were a pack of or set of three, and they sent me three sets. <laughs> So um, yeah, super handy though, because that means I've got a ridiculous amount. So I'm going to actually move my trousers over. You make me lose my mind like all the time. It still feels right. Right, now that's all folded, I'm going to go through the boxes. I thought I'd show you a couple of pieces that I've bought. So I've got a couple of dresses which are already in my kind of dress wardrobe, it's just longer dresses which I'll probably show you in a bit. But I can't really link much of this stuff because I tend to buy things in the sale kind of impulsely, um, like through winter because it's just the best time to buy it. But if I, if I can find stuff that I've bought I will try and leave it linked but most of this stuff is from ASOS. Um, so I got this little oasis sort of pink um, little just basic just a basic t-shirt but it's really sweet I just thought it was a really lovely colour um just with a little you know a little pair of shorts I just thought it would be a really nice everyday t-shirt it's a really lovely quality I think this was £12 in the sale I got this little top actually from ASOS design I got it in size 8 um it's just a really cute 
I don't know, again, with a little pair of denim shorts, some like beige converse. I just thought it'd be really nice, lightweight, um, girly top for the summer. It's just really kind of, I love the little peplum style. And then I also got this dress. It's a little bit on the bigger side. I wish I would have got it in a smaller size, but I don't think they had it. So I got it in the 10, but it does fit fine. It's just a little bit more kind of low. So I might have to wear like a little cami underneath. But this is a dress, like a linen style dress, and it ties in quite nicely. Um, beige with these kind of buttons. It's very basic. It's got like little pockets and it's got the tie. It looks so much better on um, than just to look at it like this. It's got little rolled sleeves, but I thought again, every day, cash. You know, really you just wanna just wear a nice little dress when you go take the kids out. And then here's the best bit when I love going through like all the summery bits and basically just shopping my own wardrobe, which I love. Right, I am done. I know what you're thinking, Claire, you've got an excessive amount of clothes. I know. But some things I've had for many, many years. Other things are just more new pieces. But yeah, you can see I've got a few knits here. Blazers. Got this in the next Boxing Day sale. Last year. Love that. Um, yeah, just a few knits, shirts. And then going into like more, kind of a couple of new tops. Um, and these are just, yeah, lightweight kind of all the same sort of neutral colour and then I've got some more like evening e tops to wear when we can go out planning that and then my trousers are all here um yeah put all the like pleather together and then my linen ones but yeah I really like these actually because they definitely save space and then I've just put my jeans all my shorts together I've got a lot of shorts um and then my jeans just kind of rotated them just to make me wear certain ones. So this is where my dresses are and blazers. So I've got this really lovely sage green blazer which I got last year from the next sale. I've got a white one, I've got my teddy coat. Um, I've got this one which I've had forever. You know, you just don't want to get rid of something. I've got this floral one which again from H&M many years ago. I love a blazer. Um, and then I've got a couple, these basically a couple of dresses are kind of newish. Okay, so although this looks quite autumnal, I would say, with the colours, but I really thought it was so pretty. They have it in a like a more of a pinky shade from Next. This is one dress that I kept from Next, like literally the only one. It's got like this belt, it looks really nice on. Um, so I kept this one. Um it, again, it's got like this little kind of pleated bit at the bottom and it's kind of um lined. This is the one you would have seen recently from Tesco in my last vlog. And this one I got from ASOS. It's by Wednesday's Girl. I actually got it in the sale um, for like 12 quid. But it's really, really pretty. It looks so much nicer on. It's like this mint colour. It's got like a little wrap ruffle. Um, yeah. That's that one. And the rest of them are literally ones that I've had for a few years. So most of them are from Next, actually. Because a lot of the time I find them in the sale. Um, there's a couple here. More summery ones I've had for years. I love this one. It's like spotty. Kind of linen-y style one. I did actually purge a few bits. I've got like a pile of stuff that I think I'm going to list on Vinted and just charity shop it. I'm sorry if this was a bit boring but I'm so pleased to have it done. Miles has been asleep for about an hour and 15 minutes so a really decent time. If he wakes up in the ne next 15 minutes, hour and a half is like a really good time for him not to kind of oversleep. Right Miles is awake in about an hour and a half. He wants to sit there. Can you get up okay? He has already had, what have you had? You've had a sausage roll, you've had some blueberries. But I did make this little platter, so I think red stick, little veggie platter, yeah, on them. And then I've done them myself. I don't want obviously too much because we're having kind of a early dinner. So I've done three scrambled eggs with um, an avocado. Just basically got the best bits out of a bad avocado. Right, third load. I've got one more load to do. 
<sighs> right, managed to get the kids off their tablets. That's it now, done for the day. They've had a few hours, which is fine because obviously it is weekend and I do like them just to unwind and do what they want to do. That's why you probably don't really see them because they literally just hang out in their rooms. They're kind of that age now where they just want their own space. It's like quarter to three. Um, the lamb is done by the way. I put it on for an extra half an hour, 40 minutes, something like that. Basically it took about two-ish hours, but I'm just, I've literally just let it sit in there now. I'm just gonna let it sit there. Um, and then I'll do the rest in about an hour or so. Right, we've come out, because Miles is climbing the walls, as you can imagine. He's been so good all day. You, see Peter? Yeah? It's pretty windy. Clearly no gardening today. I'm gonna lose all the seeds. I'm definitely gonna be doing some planting though. Like no. Can you see? Look. <laughs> you big crazy. <laughs> my hat. Ah! <laughs> I wanna keep my hat on, please. Mister. It's cold. Can't believe I just changed over my spring summer wardrobe and now I'm like wrapped up. My boots, yeah? My boots. Boots. Stomp, stomp, stomp. <laughs> Crazy. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where is he? There he is. <laughs> In with the chickens. He always does what he's not supposed to do. They're having their drink. They don't want to ruin it. Miles. No, no more. No more. Look. <laughs> where's, no, no. Where's, where's Lucky? Where's Lucky? Where's Lucky? Can you see? Can you see which one? Is this Lux? Where's Lucky? Where's Lux? Gentle. Oh. So yeah. Oh, they've only got a couple more days and they can come out. They're gonna love that, aren't they? They're gonna be so happy. Yeah, they're gonna be so happy. Oh my goodness, they're gonna be so happy, aren't they, to come out? Doggy. I'm loving this boot rack, by the way. Best purchase. I can't believe we hadn't got one sooner. Bye then. <laughs> he realises he can shut it, but he can't open it. Isn't it? What a bit of popcorn. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, is that nice? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, we've been watching Sea Spiracy, which is the Netflix like thing, new thing on at the moment. Mind blowing absolutely crazy like all the connections of things yeah all industries i think ever about it's just money that's literally what it's about like the whole shark fin thing it's it's a statement it's money like it's it's not even because it's good you know like it's tasty or whatever not like no i would never you know but it's just so sad it's just honestly definitely watch it but it's not for the faint hearted honestly like the kids have not watched it just yeah very very sad right i'm 
interesting carrots. I've just put the roast in. I've, um, I've um, got the goose fat roast potatoes out of the freezer. Some quick roasties. I'm doing carrots, broccoli, and we've got some. Oh, yeah. I'm winging it today. I think I've literally lost count of like washing. I think this may be third or fourth. I think it might be fourth load. Getting it down. There's many things that the kids kind of take after me and they engrave in like food wise. But Violet, one thing she really loves is pepper. Like she loves having pepper on her eggs and potatoes and vegetables like I do. It's bizarre, isn't it? How they kind of, well, I suppose they're just knowing their own taste buds, but. Oh, here he comes. First one for dinner. He's hungry. You Second. hungry? Second for dinner. Oh, wow. That's a first. Well, second, you know. That is. Right, just doing the last few bits of clean up. Waiting for Vi, as always. World's slowest eater. But yeah, I'm actually going gonna, gonna to try and steam some fish tomorrow in that for lunch. See how that goes. But yeah, I need to do a little bit of, well, I'm actually going to clean the floors. It's one thing I'm going to do, obviously clean the sides once everyone's finished, put dishwasher on. But I'm just going to do, I need to do like a medicine, medicine, I mean, vitamin stock up prep. All right, time to hoover and then I'm going to get the mop out. Everyone is in the lounge. Still my go-to. Smells so good. Just remembered to order Miles a blind for his room. He is desperate, you know, like a blackout one because it's getting so light when he goes to bed. All right, Miles had a bath. I'm trying to, I think I'll probably end up not having this in peace, but although it's that time, obviously it's six o'clock basically, like yesterday. So he's still awake, buzzing, buzzing baby. No. Play Top Gear? Oh yeah. No, no car. No, no car. <laughs> well, that didn't take him long. He literally was up for like an extra half an hour after his bath and then was just done. So it's like half past seven um, and he's down. But half past six old time. So anyway, I'm gonna do my nails. Um, I had a lot of questions about what gel things I use. So like I use the Miley, I just get them from eBay to be perfectly honest. So this is the Miley, we'll focus on it, nail prep and polish. So that's what I use like after I put my hands in and obviously before I paint my nails to get all the oils off and then this is the gel remover stuff. And just Blue Sky, which again I get from eBay. They have so many colours and actually I find them really good. So I've got the base coat, the top coat, and then I've got a few colours, not many. So I literally, like I've done the base coat and then I cure for 60 seconds. This has like a timer on it. You just press this and then it kind of goes out. Um, so yeah, and then I do. I probably end up doing two or three coats of this and cure every time. And then you obviously just top coat cure and then you wipe it. That is vanilla beige. I feel like I'm definitely getting better at it. That is three three really thin coats. I'm happy with that. I think they turned out really nice. Camomile tea and grapes. This is literally all we need for tonight. Still getting through Game of Thrones, so I think we're gonna watch one episode. Um Alistair's actually doing his homework. And um, Violet's tidying her room, but she's got to get in the shower. Right, we are off to bed. <sighs> Tired. Um, yeah, I really hope you're well. And I hope you have a lovely Easter. We break up next week. Crazy. It's come around so quick. I think I said already said that. It's come around so quick. Grateful for a little bit of a break, especially because I've got some time off work and we are going away, which I'm su super excited about. It's going to be a bit strange, but I am excited just to get Graham away. Um, so, yeah, I will catch you on my next video. Stay safe, and um, as always, thanks so much for watching.